Hey folks, welcome back to yet another episode of Yash Tugal's Book Club. The book we are reviewing today is No Rules Rules, The Culture of Reinvention in Netflix by the CEO himself. More on the other side of the intro. So we'll talk about the key things which uh, have been discussed in this book. I'll try to keep it short. First, build up talent density. A great workplace with stunning colleagues. Because none of the rules I'm going to mention next will work if you do not have a high caliber colleagues you can trust on to act in the company's best interest. Being surrounded by top colleagues elevates your overall thinking and pushes you to do your best. In Hastings words, for top performers, a great workplace isn't about a lavish office, a beautiful gym or a free sushi lunch. It's about the joy of being surrounded by people who are both talented and collaborative. People who can help you be better. It is particularly important in a company like Netflix that delegates a lot of decision making to mid-level and lower level managers. Then the second thing is increase candor. Say what you really think with positive intent. The concept of candor in the workplace deserves its own book and thankfully there is another book called Radical Candor by Kim Scott. The third thing is begin removing policies. Begin removing controls. Remove vacation policy, travel and expense policy. Now this is obviously not possible if you don't have the best people working for you. As you risk ending up with situations where mediocre people have made less than advisable purchases and straddled the company with the cost. You have to trust people's judgment first. In Hastings words, set context up front and keep an eye on spending out back. Once you have a workplace made up nearly exclusively of high performers, you can count on people to behave responsibly. The trust you offer will in turn instill feelings of responsibility, leading everyone in the company to have a great sense of ownership. Then fortify talent density. Pay top of personal market. Surprising insight. Bonuses are actually bad for flexibility. Don't pay performance based bonuses. Put these resources into salary instead. Teach employees to develop their own network and to invest time in getting to know what the top of the market for that particular skill set and person is. Then pump up candor. Open the books. Keep your company tra as transparent as possible. This gave rise to interesting discussions in the books regarding whether employees need to be told about a possible restructuring if their jobs may be at stake, but maybe not. Another insightful situation was debated regarding post-firing communication. Netflix always goes for transparency. Max up talent density, the keeper test. This chapter described the team versus family metaphor. Most of the organization call themselves a family, but Netflix metaphorizes them as a team. What happens in a team? The coach usually swaps and trades players in and out throughout the year in order to make sure that they always have the best player in the best position. At Netflix, they want each manager to be running the department like the best professional teams. Working to create strong feelings of commitment, cohesion and camaraderie while continuing to ensure that the best player is manning each post. And now for the keeper test. When a person on your team were to quit tomorrow, would you try to change their mind or would you accept their resignation, perhaps with a little relief? If the latter, you should give them a severance package now and look for a star performer, someone who you would fight to keep. That's the keeper test. Then they talk about maxing up your candor. Make a circle of feedback. Have live 360 dinners with up to 25% positives and 75% developmental discussions. The last thing is eliminate most controls. Lead with context, not controls. The story of the Oscar winning documentary Icarus alone is worth reading this chapter. There is also certain interesting discussions mentioned about loosely versus tightly occupied systems. 
the goal of highly aligned, loosely coupled organizations and alignment as a tree, not a pyramid. With that, I would conclude this uh, quick discussion about Netflix's policies. They have been awesome and it would be really nice as well as very competitive to be working in such an environment. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.